Hi everybody, we're back in Namco High and we're going to get our dating sim on. Hope you're all having a great Saturday. I know I am. I only woke up um, ooh, an hour ago. It's what, half five now? That's right, because Nazi's a lazy bastard. It's so strange. I just keep having these really crazy dreams. And I'm like, oh, that was a super funny dream. I'll go back to sleep, see if I can have the dream again. And then I have the dream again. I remember at one, time, at one point in my dreams... Sparkles had like worked out how to body swap and he had body swapped with the um the girl with the like really sharp haircut from Daria and um fuck who knows anyway <laughs> and, and he was just like oh guys look what I can do and I was like whoa that's pretty cool Sparkles and he was like yeah and that was pretty much the dream that was the whole dream uh anyway let's continue where we left off I think we just got to the end of detention and we were talking to our classmates to learn a bit more about them. Uh, so in the last video, I talked to Teresi Perop uh, from Homesuck. Today, after having a look through the comments, I am going to pick out a couple that people suggested that they would like to see me talk to. So we're going to talk to them, depending on what I actually see after this progress bar. Come on now. It's a browser game. Right, so the first person that we're going to talk to is the super sexy... Super awesome, Galaga. Who is that beautiful creature? Wait, is that the right word? Beautiful? More like captivating. Tss, it's surrounded by so many admirers. It'll never notice little old me. Haha, -ha, don't be ridiculous. It can read my thoughts. If anyone's gonna be Juliet, it'll be Donko. Wait, it's not talking to me. Ah, uh, hello, Gallagher ship. You literally live in a Tuscan villa. It's not a whole villa. Face it, you couldn't be more Juliet if they built you that way. And I think they did. To be or not to be, that is the question. Oh, Donko's blushing. See, that's the most Juliet thing I've ever heard. It's from Hamlet. Come on, come on, come on, Donko. Oh shit, they all, they all 2D sprite flipped. Oh god, the 2D sprite flip, you can't go wrong. Fucking Hussy loves his 2D sprite flips. Hamlet. Ah, did I say that out loud? Whatever, new kid. It just shows how much of a total Juliet Gallagher ship really is. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, well, if you know so much about Shakespeare and stuff, why don't you audition for the play? Ugh, does Gallagher ship hate me already? Should have kept my mouth shut. Uh, everyone's waiting for an answer. Um, uh, play it cool, Nazi. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, I don't know much, but, but it might be cool, I guess. Yeah, why, why not? Sure, if Gallagher, if Gallagher ships Juliet, maybe I could audition for Romeo. Wonder if I can act, like, at all. Well, so that was, that was Gallagher, which was fucking actually really funny. Um, let's talk to... Next on the uh, on on the old crosshairs is going to be, and and a lot of people were worried about this. Some people said that they have never read Homestuck before, and they didn't really understand who Torezzi, Jane, Dave Sprite were because they're characters from Homestuck. Now, for those of you who don't know, Homestuck is a nine thousand odd page comic book on MSPaintAdventures.com, which follows initially four kids as they install um, a pretty apocalyptic uh, video game and uh, it follows their adventures through this world and and all the people that they meet and interact with and it's it's fucking phenomenal my jesus god is it good it's um very good but these characters are very in depth so a lot of people are like oh i don't really like this because i don't really know these characters however i'm pretty sure you don't have to know homestuck at all to kind of get these characters and and know them and, and find out about them so we're going to try i'm going to choose jane and we'll see just by not knowing anything about homestuck what what jane's like so let's have a look so jane is from homestuck but we'll, we'll find out you know even though she's sitting with the weird kids that girl doesn't seem so bad in fact she seems pretty normal surrounded by all these weirdos normal sounds pretty good right now hello the name is jane crocker i don't think we've met Ah, uh, hi, I'm Nalzi. Pleased to meet you. I'm pretty new here. I was hoping I could hang out with someone friendly. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> you seem like a very nice youngster, but I do hope you know I haven't been fooled. Nice or not, you may not. You may have been up to some awful tomfoolery to wind up here in detention. Ha, <laughs> I guess so. 
but I could say the same about you. What are you in for, anyway? Fair enough. The truth is, I have something weakness for a good prank. I know it's not very sensible, but... All work and no play makes Jane a dull girl. As I believe the saying goes. Something like that, anyway. Uh, something like that. Anyway, that sounds a lot more fun than what I'm in for. Oh, yes. I remember now. You caused some kind of school-wide fiasco. Something to do with rolling a bowling ball and breaking things. I'm not terribly certain on the details yet. Still, I've determined that it was mostly accidental. So you don't have to worry too much about it. No real harm done. Mm. But, well, it was an accident, but it was much bigger than a boy ball. It was my Katamari. I rolled up the whole school by accident. I even rolled up students. I might have even rolled up you. Although I guess I couldn't have if you'd been there. There's no way you'd mistake it for a bowling ball. Oh yes, a giant ball. Somehow able to roll up everything in the school, including students themselves. Gee whiz, that sounds very plausible. I'm completely in awe of that overwhelming veracity of your story. Woohoo, just kidding. Sorry, Nalzi, but that prank was more than a little on the lame side. You would have to get up pretty early in the morning to fill an expert prankster like me with a flimsy tail like that. Huh? <laughs> she doesn't believe me, but everyone saw it and was there. Unless she's pranking me by pretending not to believe me? Anyway, I think it would be cool to hang out sometime, Jane. It's nice to be around a normal girl like you. I mean, for example, Galaga's pretty amazing, but I think it might be kind of stressful to try and find a common ground with a beautiful spaceship. Jeez Louise, Nazi. You could try a little harder with your flights of fancy. A spaceship could never fit into a tiny classroom like this. But Galaga's sitting right over there. So there's Jane. Um, and another much requested character. Uh, uh, so yeah, for those of you who have not read Homestuck, that, that seems pretty normal, right? Just a girl who likes to prank, who's a little bit confusing, to be honest. She didn't recognise that Galaga was even there. Or that Katamari Damashi was like rolling shit up. Hmm, interesting. Um, she's known as a bit of a prankster in, um, in Homestuck. So that's what that's that's been called upon, but nothing really, nothing else that you really need to know that I don't know that you. So we're both kind of if 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 you're a homesuck, if you're not a homesuck fan, you've no idea what it is, you've never read it. We're both on the same level right now. Uh, let's do Dave Sprite. I hope you like these voices, by the way. Um, I feel like Nalzi is very like, oh hi, my name is Nalzi, and I'm pretty much the coolest guy I've ever met. Like that, that's that's my Nalzi voice. Do you not do you not like that? I think it's pretty good. Uh, Dave Sprite, let's go. That strange floating boy. I think his name was Dave Sprite. Hey, this whole section here doesn't have anything to do with the game. I mean, you don't make any choices or anything, it's kind of just filler. You can just click through. Huh? You don't even really need to read this stuff, it's just like, blah blah blah, here's me, here's a little taste of my character so you can get to know me, get ready to fall in love and go on the most incredible fake video game romance of your life. Mom, Dad, I don't care what you say about this video game character, is my boyfriend and we're in love. That whole thing. Yeah, so anyway, just click through. It's no big deal. Especially since it's just me, so who cares? What the heck are you mumbling about? Are you insane? Man, that's right. I didn't explain too much, did I? I'm just going to do you a favor and make a long story short. I don't know. I really don't understand the thing you're saying. I think you definitely need a thorough explanation. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. You absolutely want just the cliff notes on this business. Basically, I'm a copy of a cool kid from an alternate timeline. I guess I got turned into this floating bird guy. I look pretty suave, I guess. I don't know, it was a long time ago, I think. Anyway, now I've become one of those dudes in the video game that tells you what to do. You know, a guide. To help the player along and help tell them what pixels to click so they can proceed. Yeah, just keep mumbling that gibberish. I'm really into that. This boy is definitely completely out of his mind. And I know all the secrets of the game and stuff. Yeah, this one you're playing right now, that's kind of a bummer, but also kind of cool. If you're in knowing all the secrets of the universe, I guess. I guess I'm not supposed to act like I know it's a game. Meta stuff, get some people's nerves, but who cares, they can deal. Because yeah, I don't really feel like doing that, so whatever. Cool. Thanks for explaining. I understand everything now. And I'm definitely not thinking you're an escapee from a mental institution. You're when I talk with your space unitard, your antenna thing. Oh man, I can't say that with a straight face. 
The space unitar rules! I've never been so jealous of a ridiculous garment. I would describe myself as covetous even. Um, thanks. Wow, I'm actually kind of flattered. And over a compliment from a psychopath. Yeah, see, it's already happening. You're, p you're a player character, so you're literally programmed to be all over me. What can I say, my prototype omnisci omniscient game guide? How can you resist? Sure, whatever you say. Man, I bet if I was actually trying to play along here, I could make up a pretty good meet cute. We'd meet when we both trip and fall in a public water fountain at the same time. Actually, every step of our courtship would be punctuated by falling into water fountains. That's pretty much the most classic way to go. There's nothing better. It beats rose petals on the bed and our dogs getting their leashes twisted together combined. Falling into public water fountains is stone cold romance. Even for our wedding, we'd be... Even for a wedding, we wedding we'd be climbing out of a fountain so all wet, like. Who keeps putting these fountains here? <laughs> it keeps happening! <laughs> you know, dear, right, you're pretty funny. Do you always ramble on like this, though? Yeah, see, you like me already. That's okay, you're supposed to be liking everything at this point. Well, listen, if you stick with me, I'll tell you how to get through the game as fast as possible and get the good ending. What do you say? Dear Sprite, I still don't know what the heck you're talking about. Or even what you are. Some kind of ghost thing? I don't know. But if you want to hang out with me, I mean, sure. I don't really have friends here yet. You don't have to make up some weird nonsense video game stories about it. You can just ask me, okay? Uh, word. That was awesome. Fucking hell, that was cool. Uh, uh, mm. So, again, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of people who don't know any Homestucks. And to be honest, Dave Sprite was being very kind of inner home stuck there a little bit much a bit, a bit confusing but i think that's how you're supposed to feel as the player you're supposed to take on the role of student and feel kind of perplexed by dave who is a foreign exchange student is talking about all this random shit but he's very meta as you can see he kind of knows the ins and outs of the game anyway let's that's enough for now we've met four characters let's wait for the tension to end uh yeah, I just want to get out of here. Or oh, they're probably all bananas after all. We have finished detention, thank God. Whew, time to have a drink. Mm. Mm -mm. Diet Coke. The drink for people who are thirsty. Yeah. The next day. <laughs> Joining a club and you're showing school spirit to reduce my detention sentence. I wonder if there's any other students from detention that are taking up the offer. Oh, so we get to talk to more people. Let, let's go talk to Galaga first. Before a crowd gathers. Gosh, there's that Galaga ship at the drama club booth. Wonder if it meant what it said about auditioning for the play. Heck, wonder if I could even remember my lines. <laughs> um, hey, 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 Galaga ship. Hey, I just, it's just, you know... For detention, <laughs> you know, we got to join a club or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry. Um, and I thought maybe, maybe, you know, you would, with the Shakespeare and the, like you, like you said, just the, with the, now so you're not even talking in complete senses anymore. Um, and stuff. Um, <clears throat> oh man, I'm bombing big time. She just walk away while Galaga's ship still has no idea what my name is and just thinks of me as a little weirdo it hates forever. Oh, new kid. Uh, sorry, I'm supposed to be manning the booth or whatever, but I was listening to space radio on my internal speakers. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I can join a club? Wait, run, abort, give up. Whoa, sorry, I scrolled up. Wait, what did I click? Thank you, goodbye, though. Okay, can I click the right thing? I want to know what Toretti is is manning. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I have to. And I, uh, Toretti and Dave Sprite, to be honest, are the best two. Jane was okay. I'm not hugely impressed with Jane at the moment. Dave Sprite was fucking awesome. Uh, Toretti was awesome as well. Let's see what Toretti. I bet she's. I bet she's manning like a justice booth or like a lawyer group, like uh, studying like law cases or something. Let's see. Hi there, Cotton Candy. I can tell you're looking for the coolest of cool clubs to join. Smell it on you. 
I can smell it on you. Maybe she's down there. <laughs> but what's? But that's what we're all doing here, isn't it? It's club day. Shush! You can't hide me from cotton candy. But you're gonna wish you could. You're joining me in the criminal justice club, okay? Called it. No arguing aloud. That's just what's happening. I still can't tell if she's threatening me or flirting. Um, I was gonna look at the other clubs first, so... so... Oh, no way! You're joining my club. Don't make me use my feminine wiles on you. <laughs> Yeek! Please join. You're pretty cool, and it'd be nice to have someone to share the club with. Oh, that's what you meant by feminine wiles. Just being nice to me. I thought you were going to try to coerce me with violence or something. <laughs> Not that I meant, I mean... Hee <laughs> hee, God Candy, you're so weird! Obviously, I say violence for special occasions. Uh, hmm. Um. Okay, let's resist for now. And I'll let you guys decide the club that I join. Okay? That's that's a good idea, I think. Um, let's go with... Jane. Let's go with Jane, then Dave. Hello there, person I've yet... Hello there, person I've never met before. Oh, hold on a second. Jane has donned the moustache. You seem to be the type to be looking to join a club. Oh, it's just Jane wearing a novelty moustache. Does she really think that would fool me? She otherwise looks exactly the same. Ha, that's pretty cute. I'll play along. Oh, yes. Hello, dapper young moustached gentleman. I'm I'm looking for a club, in fact. Hoo hoo hoo. Surprised with me, Jane, all along. See? Ha ha. Oh my gosh, Jane, that was you! You know, Nazi, you need to work on your observational skills. That's a little disguise should have been quite easy to see through. You don't say. Perhaps you should consider joining my club. Hmm. I happen to be the editor of the Nabco High School newspaper. What do you say? I could always use a new mud raker. Raking mud sounds really difficult, but maybe I should join. She seems so skeptical before, but if she's reporting an events around the school, she's bound to see that weird stuff goes on here. Let's look at the other clubs first. So we're going to check out uh, Dave's uh, club. Yeah, Dave's Sprite. There's that boy again, Dave Sprite. He said he was a game guide, whatever that means. He seems kind of crazy, actually. But there's also something compelling about him. He's like an angel. I've got to find out more. Hey, Nazi, check it out. I could put parentheses around my text and narrate my inner thoughts too. Also, no way I'm an angel because angels aren't sexy. You think <laughs> you think naked people with wings equals instant hotness, but nah. They hella judge you if you want to get freaky, so it's kind of psychologically turn off, obviously. Dave Sprite, you're just floating there staring at me. Say something, you're freaking me out! Whoa, you actually can't hear me when I'm doing parentheses. This is just thoughts, messed up. Oh, hey, sorry about that. Do you want to hang out with me today? It's cool. If not, you can click on whoever you want. I seriously don't care. Well, I'm looking for a club to join. What club are you in? Uh, let's see. It doesn't really matter anyway, but I guess I'm in the webcomics club or something. Yeah, that sounds awesome. You take Donkey Kong books, you take the internet, known hive of nerds, and combine them. And it's so lame, it crosses back over into ironic coolness, which is pretty much the ultimate coolness right here. There is literally no way to top that. So, I'm going to click no. So you folks out there will have the um, choice of which club I join. Uh, I'm tempted to do another straw poll. Will I do a straw poll? Yes, I will. I did a straw poll for my Binding of Isaac. I'm going to do a straw poll here. So in the description of this video, there will be a uh, straw poll. And there will also be on my Twitter as well. So you can tell me whose club to join, and whoever's club I join, essentially it will become my uh, romantic kind of uh, target, I suppose, for the series. So you can choose Tourette Perup, which is Tourette, and her club was the Criminal Investigation Club. And you can choose Dave Sprite, and his club was the Web Comics Club, which, fucking Dave is so funny in this, it's awesome. Galaga, who was a part of the Drama Club, and of course Jane. Which, what was Jane part? Oh, the, the Namco High School newspaper. So there are your four choices. Check in the description below and there will be a link to the, um, uh, the survey. And of course, before you go, 
make sure you do click like if you enjoyed the video and you like Namco High videos, and of course drop a comment below with your thoughts. And um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye! This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.